Hi everybody, this is Robin, live on the Robin's Nest, giving you a breaking news moment. Well, not exactly a breaking news moment, because this news is about an hour old as I record this. And it is official, Osama bin Laden, the Adolf Hitler of my generation, is dead. And I'm sitting here recording this, and as I record this, I have a lovely picture of President Obama with his family that I got. And I can't help but think how this remarkable man was able, with the help of so many people, to bring this individual to the justice that he deserved. Um, I do not like to take pleasure in another person's death. I really don't. I don't like to gloat. I don't like to uh, 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 be happy over a person's demise. It's a personal thing with me because all in all this was a human life and I'm a human life and you all are human lives and I don't like to make a fun of someone's death because, you know, someday I am going to pass on and I wouldn't want someone to make fun of me, but I just can't help but not feel sorrow for this person, you know. Normally I say a prayer when a person dies, uh, you know, asking the Lord to you know, give this person peace, eternal peace. But I can't do that this time. I really can't. So the only thing I can ask the Lord is for God to do as he sees fit with this individual soul. He made this soul, and this soul made choices. Not the best choices. And it's now for God to deal with that soul. And that is all I can ask. And I think, I hope, that now after all of this, we can breathe a little bit easier. And, you know, it, it's so it's so funny. I feel weird about this because I was just saying to uh, someone... I can't remember who it was, but it was, I said to someone about a week or two ago, I said, you know, if, if President Obama could find Osama bin Laden and bring him to justice, this would be a real feather in his cap. And it's just so odd that I said that about a week or two ago, and it's happening. It just happened, you know. I don't know. I hate to say it, but I just love it when that ESP thing I got going on upstairs works right. <laughs> but forgive me. I'm sorry. Um, the only thing that I can truly ask for is I hope now we can just have some peace. I really do. I hope we as a people, this country, can have peace. I hope there will be some peace around the world. I pray for peace for my president and I know he still has a lot of work to do and I do know and understand that Osama bin Laden had family and friends who cared about him the only thing I can say is I hope that the Lord can ease them in some kind of way I guess give them comfort but it's just hard. It's so hard to feel anything, any empathy for this person because this person caused so much pain, so much suffering, so much sadness for no reason. I mean, to this day, I still cannot understand why this person did this, why he was responsible for this. I mean, I just feel like, what did we ever do to him? I don't know. I don't understand. But to those people who were personally affected by his actions, I hope and pray that you all find peace. I give you my heart, my love, my sympathy, 
to anyone who lost any loved one on September 11th, 2011. We will never forget that day as long as we live. We will never forget those people that was lost. And we will never forget this moment when the terror has finally, hopefully, come to an end. And that's all I can say about it. Um, I just have so many mixed emotions inside of me right now. And I just... I'm just grateful that it's over. Hopefully. This is Robin, live from the Robin's Nest, saying peace.